The cyber domain is of great importance not only for the economy, but also for security. In terms of warfare, there are five strategic domains today. Land, sea, air, space, and cyber. To gain dominance in the first four domains takes a long time and is extremely expensive. According to Ganli, China found a shortcut and an inexpensive way to achieve dominance in the most important cyber domain by making the world deploy 5G networks with Chinese technology. So on average, you're looking at going to a Chinese 5G provider because they're subsidized and because they have government financing backing them, they're coming in at at least 40% less cost than anybody else. Now it's subsidized by the Chinese government. Now what's the cost of those subsidies? Maybe around the world, 100, 200 billion dollars, a little bit more. Less than the cost of a, an aircraft carrier battle group. And that way you get to dominate a whole domain, cyber. The cyber domain is, God forbid, there's another great war. The first 10 minutes of the next great war will be fought in the cyber domain. That's where the Pearl Harbors of the future will take place. And whoever dominates the architecture of 5G has got an enormous strategic security and frankly economic advantage. And what you're seeing going on here is um, the great game in the 21st century environment where China has spotted an opportunity, Beijing has spotted an opportunity to dominate the cyber domain globally, to use mobile carriers as their Trojan horses who do the lobbying for them to get their architecture in and to deploy these 5G networks globally basically by subsidizing them. It's a brilliant plan and it has almost worked.